Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra, continuing my Divinity Original Sin 2 campaign, and we are inside the tower, which is like a prison of... Well, there were necromancers there, but they're dead now. Why are you covered in oil? I don't know. But we're gonna explore this place and see what we find. What is in here? A zombie. Stuck in a cage. Teleportation scroll! Thank you. A jar of mind maggots. We found another one. We can make another grenade. Can I do... Wait. Empty canister. Can I do this? I want another one of those awesome grenades. Uh, empty canister. Where's that? There we go. And jar of mind maggots. What? It's a reagent. I just picked it up. Uh, that's weird. Didn't I not just pick up a jar? There we go. Combine. Ah, uh, so it only has—it has to be a grenade canister. Alright, it's fine, Ooh, I suppose. Encyclopedia on lizards. Sheet of paper. We need some of those to make scrolls. I'm not clicking that. Legend of the Blood Rose. Legends tell of the most precious rose, the Blood Rose, prized by kings and men from ancient times. The Blood Rose grows only in soil suffused. The Blood Rose grows only in soil suffused with suffering and fertilized with filth. In the days of Brackers Rex, the rose was grown using methods esoteric and vile, the only methods proven to grow the rare blossom. The perfumer... Avanel persuaded Brackers to bury the bones of the tortured dead within a deep cave. I know that cave. He sowed the seeds within their emptied skulls, watered with the tears of the tortured living. In such a so soil, the blood rose flourished. So, <laughs> so I need... I need a skull and seeds. Now, I can't make the normal roses into those. The scholars say that even today, were you to find this mythical cabin, the roses would grow there still. Well, I found one, but that's it. And it was an awesome rose. Ooh! Thank you. Let's get this. Three. Oil flask. Ooh. Magic of blood. And another... We found three crafting... Minor resist all potion. That sounds very useful. Uh, it's locked. What's in here? Gold and lockpicks. Mutilated corpse. I can't reach. Maybe there's a key in here? I see a gargoyle. I'm, every time I see a gargoyle, I want to click it. Because I think there's something... Warm tremor. Oh, I saw this skill. It's, it's like an AOE root. I'm going to keep that in mind. Lady Shelbia Moladina and Sir Buckington. The dog has a knighthood. The dog is Sir Buckington. <sighs> Fucking ridiculous. Restoration scroll. No, no, no. Uh, did I give that to Losa? No. Losa. So you now have Fortify, Armor of Frost, and Restoration, just in case. I don't see Duke Steven Chongji. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you. You approach the still body and see its nostrils flaring. Long dead eyes rise to meet yours. As you lean in close, it lurches forward. Its arms thrash against the cage bars as it tries to reach you. Looks like it hasn't been fed in a very long time. Okay. So it's an experiment? And what is this window over here? Can I examine you? I uh, don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of experimental chamber. But, oh, I forgot to loot this. Old trousers. Well, we're gonna sell those. They have no magic armor. Maybe I'll find a key. But I can always cheese this. Why not? Get me in there. What? 
Why are you shooting? Oh, did I step on something inside? Give me the gold. Mutilated corpse. Ham. The ham has water, beer, and... Ham. Interesting. Lockpicks. Can I give that to Sabil? Yep. Okay. What was it that triggered this, though? I don't know. Anyway, Sabil, teleport me out. Oh, I'm not in. I'm not in view. Fight! <gasps> He's out! <laughs> Whoa, he can walk all the way to me? No, 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 no. Well. Encourage? No. I'm kind of stuck in here, by the way, so I'm gonna delay my turn. I'm gonna teleport myself on top of the zombie. That should cause him some damage. There we go. And let me just staff you. Poisoned? Nice! I don't like the fact that he has like a blurred out image. Who is this guy? Maybe I shouldn't kill him? But he aggroed. There's nothing I can do about it now. I don't know. Why do you keep firing? Maybe I can turn that off by the lever. Maybe if I click the lever, this will uh, stop happening. Oh, it stopped when I left the room. That's weird. Alright. Whatever. We killed a old zombie. Ooh. Among the long crumbled remains of the temple that must have once sheltered his shrine, the stone effigy of a god seems to invite you to put your hands in here. Mm, no. This is locked. Careful uh, now. Yeah. That's a trap. Okay. So. There's gotta be a way to open this. Uh, nothing I can see. If I click this... Does that open this? It says it's still locked. This is... Mm, very, very strange. Can I move a skeleton? No. Uh, if I were to take this box and put it over here. And the box got instantly destroyed. Mm. Well, we can always just cheese this, I suppose. So it's an empty crate, so I'm guessing you're supposed to use this to, I don't know, block something? I mean, if I do this... You're not strong enough. Oh, you're so weak. Iphen, Iphen, you're so weak! Why are you so weak? Ooh! So, uh, can you teleport me into that, please? I should be able to move this. You. I'm gonna move this into in the way of this one. And now eh, I should be able to take something like pick up. 
There we go. And put this crate over here. Okay. It's gonna take a while for that crate to die, but in the meantime, let's get through there. And into the sewer. Ooh, another lever. This is an interesting thing. Silent Aronson. Maybe a backer. Tattered blueprint. Uh, it's a blueprint of a tomb. We have books. We have books. Tattered blueprint. Do I take this? Mm, yeah. I don't know. It's probably something. Decaying touch. I already used one of these scrolls, so I'm glad I got another one. But I have that as a skill. That was a skill book. Actually, oh, thank you. I'm going to give this to Sabio. Like, if anybody might possibly be able to cast this, it's going to be her. Being in melee range. What's this? Okay. Please don't be a trap. Hyphen. And what is this? Unidentified bow. Is it going to be better than the crossbow? Maybe. Gives sky shot. Well, if we compare this to what you have... Um, no! It's not. But maybe I lose this crossbow at some point. I see no reason why not to just keep it. I find keep it just in case you, I don't know, lose your fancy, fancy crossbow. Painting of a man. Really? No shit. Crafting Bible? Thank you. I'm loving getting all of these. Okay. It's just a huge library. Sheet of paper. 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 Um, is this everything that's in here? A chest and some crafting stuff? Oh, wait, I gained nothing from that? I must have already known that. What's this? Tentacle Lash. Ooh, it's a polymorph. It's got to be a physical thing, right? Um, so, Sabeel has some polymorph. What if I just teach this to you? Sure, maybe it comes useful at some point. So what does this do? I heard something. Something seemed to move into place. Ah, so this is going to open up the, uh, the gate. Yeah, okay. Get out of there. And you go on top of that. Stop firing. Are you going to break? Yeah, you're going to break. Oh, yeah, the gate is open, so I don't have to walk over the mines. Or explode the mines. I don't know if that's good. And I see a rat I can talk to here. Ivan, talk to the rat. You don't look lost at all. Are you being sarcastic? Sarcastic me, not at all. I'd never be sarcastic me. Oh no, not in the least. Uh, sarcasm. What do you know about this place? The rat's eyes widen. I don't know anything about this place. Nor do I know anything about a blood rose or a witch or some dead people. What about this blood rose that doesn't like, not exist? Oh yes, oh yes, that's right. I'm so going to give you all the information you want while you do nothing. Look. I don't have a problem that means I can't tell the truth, and I don't want you to help me fix it. Ah, so the other rat wasn't able to lie, and now it can, and you cannot tell the truth. It makes a face that says, understand. What may cure this troublesome affliction? The rat gives you a grave and meaningful look, inviting you to listen carefully. I don't think the problem is in my head, and further to that, I don't think the problem could be unscrambled by the use of sylphs. I can categorically state that a short, sharp shot with something of a magical persuasion would absent, and I do not invite you to look at the subtext in what I just said. Mm, I'll see what I can do. The rat breathes a long sigh of relief, closes its... Okay. Well, I'm going to use this uh, decaying touch scroll. Sure. You this. What do you wait? 
I used one on you. Didn't I? God damn it. Alright. Sabil. Did I actually not hit you? I killed the rat! Fuck! I'm loading. I'm loading! Wait, it said, he said source, not magic, right? I hope I, I, hope I didn't uh, save a long time ago. That would suck. Why are you so slow? I have you on my SSD. Mm, I'm not liking these loading screens. Really? It's going to take me like 20 seconds to reload? And even when the progress bar is completely filled. Okay. You still don't look lost. He looks at you as if to say. Okay, so last time I did this, let's try less. Why does he die? Careful. I spotted a trap. I don't understand. Fuck! So, if I cast a magical spell on him, which I did, I did cast Decaying Touch on him first. Or did I cast that on myself? Fuck, I actually don't know. The other rat was fine after the Decaying Touch. Hmm. What if I actually hit him physically? Uh, if I can't solve this, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, I'm going to hit you. Let me check my combat log. Uh, it doesn't say... Uh, it's, it, it's gone because I loaded. You still don't look lost. He looks at you as if to say... Okay, well... Careful now. That's a trap. What happens if I hit you? Look out. I see a trap nearby. Okay. He doesn't like me. Suppose that's okay, but the other rat also ran away from me when I did that. You still don't look lost. Okay, so that didn't work. What if I just do a rain on you? Does that count? Don't let me ask you this. What are you waiting for? Peace of mind. Why does he Dead. die? I suspect that's what it wanted all along. Oh. Oh, so. Whatever, I guess this one wanted to die. I guess if you have to be a sarcastic prick all your life. If you're forced to being a sarcastic prick, <laughs> you're gonna want to die, aren't you? Yeah. Sarcasm. I mean, people are being sarcastic all the time, but can you imagine being forced to be sarcastic at all times, every single day, Careful to, now. to your family? Man, that would be insane. It would completely alienate you from everybody. Big Warhammer. Ah, come on. Give me garlic and big Warhammer. Sell. And there's a picture of Lord... Raslo Aldrich the Hasty. Skull with candle. Ooh. What is this? What is that? Withermore! You have done me a great service. Now, allow me to help you. The source barrier that blocks your way. I still have enough power to allow you entry. Yes, thank you. It shall be done then. Hey, Withermer came back. And is he gone now? Yeah, now the quest is closed. Fate worse than death. Shriekers, Purge Dragon. The Purge Dragon is not done? Oh, he's probably going to come back then. Guaranteed. But before I go into that thing, I'm going to go here. Uh, this is a big room. 
I see an oil slick, a boletus, and there's nothing in here. Oh, there are some dead uh, things here. Ooh, encyclopedia. Humans and summoning. Well, I'm gonna read them quickly and then uh, never touch them again. Money. A sharp rock. I used that for crafting, like, when I first came on the beach. Well, I suppose I can use... You approach a decrepit well and stare down into its toothless black mouth. No sooner has your head crossed the rim than weak voices begin to echo from the depth. Really? Thirst. Dry throats. Drink. Water. Water. Um... I would think the well would have the water. Ooh. The well is now filled to the brim with fresh, cool water, but what it has brought to the surface quickly evaporates any wish you may have had to quench your uh. thirst. You see the tangled remains of three corpses, Dude. a mixed mass of bones and skin from which three skulls protrude. They address you in unison, their voices a drone-like blend. We thank you for the water. We bless you for the water. We thank you for the end of torment. I say that it was your pleasure. True thirst is a horror. A horror, yes. To die of thirst forever. <laughs> to find hell. I'm and guessing Brack was rexed. The king. Yeah. The king. Why did you do Brack, it? Wrath and terror. We displeased the king. Ah, uh, you spoke the truth. He spoke. His fortune told, no divinity would he be. And so he entangled our bodies and mm. cursed our throats. Smote? Smote the brothers of Baladur. Mm. That sounds kind of dwarfish, like a dwarfish thing. We thank you for the water. We bless you for the water. We ask you for the fair. What is the fair? The fair, the toll, the levy. The people of Baladur must be buried mm. with coins. coins. That's kind of like a... That leads the dead to the kingdom. Leaving uh, coins on the eyes of the Vikings. Spare us coin. Grant us Yeah, coin. sure. The more you pay, the further sweet savior. 150 gold, that's nothing. And we thank you again. The thread. We bless you again. The wealth of the depth. Pathkeeper, keep us. Pathkeeper, guide us. To the long-awaited kingdom we will go. Laden with the burden of the coin you gave them, the brothers of Balador sink back to the bottom of the well. Whether they will find their kingdom or languish... Oh, uh, come on, don't say that. Ever, you cannot foretell. I'm hoping they are fine. Let's see. Ooh, sneaking... HP and critical chance. Well, it has a lot of armor, so I would like it on my main tank, but uh, I guess I can give it to Sabil. Let's see, HP, six armor. Memory, now I'm keeping. So we're gonna sell this Terramancer's belt. We got that from the skeleton, like when we entered the marsh after the fort, as I recall, yeah. So, that was a nice bonus. Oh, look, 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 this is the, um, the, uh, Blood Rose Cavern, where we killed Radeka, the witch. So it's right next to us. Oh, uh, is that the well? So they were tortured inside the well and then dropped into the cavern, maybe. Oh. We got XP just for walking in here. Okay, I'm gonna save. There's a vase. Ooh! That is a source skill. Cost two source? I don't have two source. Requires arrow thirst three. Deals 30 to 33 air damage to enemies around you. Then creates cursed static clouds on the edge of the spell. Set air immunity for one turn. Set shock for two turns. Two memory slots. Really? That is a fascinating spell. That's going to go to Losa when she can learn it. 
That's the first time I've seen one of the skills that requires two source. I, I know there's definitely something in the coffins, but I'm gonna check the other stuff first. A rain scroll? I'll take that, sure. Uh, is this better than what I have? Technically, yes, but I'm not gonna give up that. Small roll. I'm taking everything, and then we're gonna sell this and this. So far, it's mostly just money in here. Portrait of a woman. No. I don't like picking up paintings. Why? I'm not an art dealer. Okay, let's see what happens when I open this up. It's a dude and a chick. They both look like a king and a priestess. Uh... Are you supposed to be empty? Hands of the Tyrant. So I needed the whole set to do that. Alright. Interesting. Yeah, I was going to sell this, wasn't I? But then again, I do want just more damage on my dude. And the fact that there has a slot on it, maybe I can just have extra physical damage. 9%. So it's going to add like 1.5. Let's see. If I do manage rune and I do physical. There we go. Select. Uh, go back. 17 to 19. Yeah. This is better than what I have. The cleave is nice, but completely unnecessary. The accuracy is okay, but. I don't attack that often that the, the lack of accuracy is going to be a thing. When I do attack, I want damage. So we're getting rid of this sword. Tyrant, yeah. So we have the boots, the gloves, the chest, and the helmet. We're missing the pants? Let's see here. Um, artifacts of the Tyrants. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if we have everything we need. I might might Google how to find everything if I'm missing a piece of the set. But I might not. Let me do this. Just for fun. Boom! That was fun. Alright. So, I think we're done here. And I think we're done with both the maze and this tower. We're completely done. What we have left is the boss that I've been neglecting. We're almost level 8 before we do that boss. Last time we did that, we were level 6. So gaining 2 levels before we do that is going to tip the difference, I think. I'm thinking we do this, and before we attack... Uh, what's his face? What's his face again? Alexander? Yeah, Alexander. We can uh, do the boss, because I really don't like that fight. I really don't like it. And if I can get to level 8 before we do that, that would be impressive, I think. Nap. So it was just uh, weapons and amulets. Everything else just increases resistance, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, Bear Cub, that was tragic. But um, you'll grow stronger, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I'm also going to wrap up some things before we go and kill Alexander. Like, I want to check on Buddy with the ball. I want to do a whole bunch of uh, crafting, I guess. And then I want to talk to my comrades. See what happens there. Tortured man. Such barbarism. The Seeker's head twitches upwards as you approach. His eyes open a fraction. He struggles to focus his gaze upon you. A low moan escapes his cracked lips. His eyes close and his head sags for... This guy, oh, was there before, Tom. You thought you'd already seen the full depths of Magister cruelty. Uh, I would like to... Uh, it would be a mercy to kill these Seekers now. There's no saving them. There's nothing to be done. Let's keep moving. The Divine Order knows no mercy. It deserves none in return. The merciful thing would be to hasten their journey to the Hall of... I kinda agree. These guys are gonna become shriekers if we leave them there, right? I'm gonna talk to this guy. 
An old else pained gaze passes between the crucified. Anger bubbles within him. He seems on the brink of tears of rage. Dear ones, not like this. Not like this. Did you know them? They're as good as my family. But I cannot heal them. I cannot heal them. So much pain. Why don't you help them that way? Gently suggest it might be better to put them out of the misery. That's true. But they're still inside. They're true souls. <sighs> uncorrupted. I feel them still. I see them still. And yes, I know full well what they'll become. And I know full well they'd rather die a thousand deaths than be used in such ways. I've seen a Shrieker myself. Where you find Shriekers, you can trust the Divine Order is hiding something they desperately want to keep private. The fate of my dear ones proves there must be some such thing on this very island. Stay away from Shriekers if you want to live. I know not how much longer my... Well, I want... You must help us wage... Let's uh, do you some trade. Help us wage our war. That peace you have a toy be, chair. That peace may be. That peace may be. Do I just heal them and kill them? I'm sure they don't want this. The seeker gazes upward, right at the sun. She mumbles rapidly to herself. Oh, Lucy, and our divine smile upon you and servant. May the whole of Lagos embrace your mother. Oh, Lucy, and our divine smile What are you saying? She slowly, reluctantly looks down. What? You see, it speaks within me. I am his mother. <sighs> I kind of want to go back to the prison and like have uh, I left Verdos there to die. The seeker whimpers incoherently, seemingly. Ah, I kind of want to go back to and just write all the stuff that I did wrong. I'm gonna save, and let's see what happens if I heal this guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. He died. Let's see what he says now. Help us wage our war. Yeah, but I... We should put these guys... They're going to become Shriekers eventually. Right? I don't have to use this. I'm going to... Mercy. Yeah. To be honest, it kind of is. Look at this fucking cross over here. The passion of the Christ over here. This is this is really really disgusting. And then all the guys from the Amadia Sanctuary are over here. Claude is injured. Are you walking over the fire? You would attack the magistrate. All right. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. The best thing to do is this. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you again. What are you saying? You must help us. He says nothing. All right, I'm gonna stop here. So, I'm gonna wrap up this thing here. They're gonna tell us to attack these shriekers, as I recall. Yeah, there's like five shriekers down here, so I might need to use that helmet to help me a bit. But while I attack Lucian, who should be over here, they're gonna go and take the ship, as I recall. They're not gonna help me fight Lucian. And that's okay, I suppose. But then again, I remember that the most of all. But anyway, I'm going to stop here. I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya.